must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. We are standing on top of Hateno Tower and there's actually a lot to see over here. We have something going on over there. We have a uh, whatever those are called. Oh my gosh, a shrine. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. A shrine way over there. And uh, look at that. We have a little village down there nestled in the cliffs. And then look at this. There's actually some floating platforms right here. Wow, look at that. Uh, I could fly down there. It looks like we have a moblin with a bow. And then we have a, a chest on the platform right there. Maybe I could snipe this moblin. That's pretty far though. Do you guys think I could snipe him? Let's see. I'm gonna go about right here. Oh, I actually hit the platform, I think. Oh my goodness, I hit the platform first try. All right, let me try that again. A little higher this time. How about that one? Oh my gosh, I hit the platform again. A little bit higher. That one actually went behind him, I think. I hit him! <laughs> Alright, let's just go down there and see what's up. Oh, I didn't jump. Feels bad, man. I don't even think I'm gonna make it now. Oh yeah, we're gonna make it. We're still gonna make it. Look at that, I actually hit the platform several times. Not bad, not bad. Wish I would've got the headshot, but you know, whatever. Let's see what's in this chest. Eightfold long blade with long throw. Very nice. All right, um, let's just make our way towards Hateno Village. I'm not really taking the road. Ooh, there's a Korok seed over there. Do you see it? Right there. This is going to be another archery one, isn't it? These little pinwheel ones are, seem to be archery lessons. Oh, more floating platforms too? If only I had uh, Rivali's Gale. Oh my, oh my. They actually just keep going in the same place. Alright. At first I thought they were randomly moving around, but it quickly became apparent they were just going in the same spot. Um, let's see. Do I really want to go in this lake? Probably not. I have a... I knew it. I was going to say I have a feeling there's a chest in here somewhere. Also, you know, there's a waterfall right there, and I do love looking behind waterfalls. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, wherever you guys might be, by the way. Let's see, what do we get? Opal, nice, nice. Can I just push this off now? No. Do you think there's something behind the waterfall, guys? Ah. 
I kind of want to try, but Hateno Village is right there. Actually, guys, we're... Ooh. We'll come check out the waterfall later because when I get the uh, Zora armor, the Zora armor lets me swim up waterfalls. And there's probably going to be a lot of waterfalls that I'm going to be checking out, swimming up and trying to go through later in the game. So we'll just hold off for now. It's a fox. That actually reminds me. I need my friend. Hey, It's full flake. Let's go, boy. Try not to kill the fox, okay? You can kill all the birds you want, though, because I want the meat. Kind of taking the back route to Hateno, but that's alright. I've actually never taken this route. I wonder how you get that. I guess you just jump off one of these cliffs up here and go down to it. Some apples. Hateno, I think, also has an armor shop. So, let's see. I don't... How much money do I have? Ooh, I have almost a thousand rupees. That's not terrible. Oh, yeah. And a shrine. Let's go do the shrine first. That way we can warp here, for sure. And here comes the Hateno music. It's pretty soft right now. You might not be able to hear it. Oh, there's the shrine. Just a random rusty broadsword chilling there. Some ducks. <laughs> Look at all the meat I just got. Oh, a lot of fish here too. A lot of fish, my goodness. Always check in the water around these villages. Aha! I found another chest! Please be something better than an opal or a rusty brown sword. <sighs> Let's get our uh, double axe. What is that? A pot lid? No thanks. Some arrows, some acorns, some arrows. Hello, people of Hateto Village. It is I, Link, hero of this world. Uh, checking everyone out today, too. The check in net just never stops. Ever stayed at the Ton Poo Inn? Yes. Makes no difference to me, but... I'm supposed to check out everyone who comes into town. It <laughs> sounds weird. Your job is weird. Whatever it is you do. I know things have been peaceful recently, but outside world is still pretty dangerous, yeah? So, I gotta check and make sure if any beauties, or I mean, suspicious folks, have come around here. <laughs> beauties? Sigh. If you're lucky enough to stay at Todd Poo Id, you'll see what I mean. Say hello to Prima for me if you do. Oh! Not that she even knows who I am. This is tough. I have to give her something. What kind of gift do you think Prima at the Todd Poo Inn would want? Just take a guess. It's not for me, you understand. It's for my buddy's friend. Ah, uh, so this is the quest where we, uh, have to, like, be matchmaker. Hey, little kiddo. Aster. Hey, hey, hey. Have you seen this one? ba 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 Bolson. foo wa foo Shaki! Never seen it. Lame. I'll do it again. Watch carefully. All right, I'll teach you, but you got to pay attention, okay? <laughs> wow, 
Wow, thank you, kiddo. That was an amazing dance of skill. Ah, uh, let's see. I want to do the shrine. Ah, this is where we can change our armor color. I kind of want to do that. Welcome! If you were looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. Who do you do? Welcome to Co Kochi Dye Shop, where we live to die. Hey. If you have any dye ingredients, it's 20 rupees. <laughs> yeah, let's do it, boy. <laughs> yeah, let's change our clothes. I'm gonna equip this whole set first. Let's see, what color do we want to go? Oh man, this is looking so cool! Wow, yellow looks amazing, actually. White looks really cool. Black, of course. Orange. Oh man. Pink. Sage is pretty cool. Honestly, I like yellow the best so far. Red's not bad. It would be better if it was actually red. That, that actually doesn't look like red. Orange is really nice too. Honestly, uh, I think I'm gonna do orange. Five ingredients. Uh oh. I don't have enough. In oh. Alright. We're gonna use. There we go. Thanks for the business! Alright, now hold your breath! Wait, what? Link's like, what am I doing? <laughs> what if it dyed your skin and everything too? Oh my gosh, that looks so good! Do you find this palatable? If you'd like to do a re-dye, just let me know. Now that looks amazing. All right, let's dye different armor now. It's not really expensive, so let's just do it. We can always change it back to the original if we want. Let's do the uh, the Hylian set. Ah, oh, Sage looks really cool. Red. These clothes actually- oh, green is awesome! I might do green. Light yellow is not terrible either. Yeah, I'm doing green. Green for, uh, you know, Ocarina of Time and all that. Oh, let's just use the Hyrule Herbs. I got so many of them. Here we go, buddy! You know I'm not skipping this cutscene. <laughs> We made something very special, if I do say so myself. Amazing. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Alright, uh, let's see. There should be a, a, an actual shop around here. Ah, here it is. Here it is. The armor shop, guys. Oh, yeah, this is where I can buy the soldier armor. Oh, yeah, that's some some defense right there. I think I can afford it, too. Let's do it. This will be useful when I'm fighting the really strong enemies. The only downside is it makes you a little bit slower. But... Wow, 200 rupees for the greaves? What is that? Oh, the warm doublet, of course. Why are you standing in the corner? Yeah. Hello. Ventus clothing is open even to those who travel in the night. You like this corner? Oh. 
Am I nestled too far in the corner? Is it hard to see me? I know it's a little weird, but I just feel more confident over here. <laughs> hey! No problem with that, lady. Let's see if I can sell. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Do I really want to sell? I mean, I just sold that, that, not that long ago. How much do these sell for? Five each? I guess I could sell some of these. Here's 20 choo-choo choo, choo jellies. 100 rupees, alright. I'm kinda poor again. I'm leaving. I need to go kill more monsters so I can get more money. Let's go do that shrine, boys. It's called my name. Let's uh, put on this armor. Just so I move super sneaky like. You guys like the, the color I chose? I hope you do. Mayam Agana Shrine. I actually don't remember what this shrine is, but I have a feeling I'll remember it as soon as I get in there because this is one of those shrines that everybody does because it's in Hateno Village. I have not done every shrine in the game though. Pretty close to it though. I beat the game twice. This is my third time playing through the game. I think I said that earlier, but this is my first time playing through the game on Master Mode. But even so, I've never actually beaten the game 100%. I did pretty, pretty, pretty close though. Probably, I mean, I didn't get all the Korok seeds or anything, but. Miyam, I got, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this one. This one I've done so many times. All right, so. There's a little maze up here. You have to use the controller to steer it. Uh, there is a trick to this, though. You could do it the regular way, or you could just kind of go... Woo! Okay, that, that was too hard. Too hard. Put it, put it down a little bit, and then just kind of flick it over. Okay, too hard, too hard, too hard. Try again, try again. Even though I mess up a couple times, it's still worth doing it this way. Oh, look at that. Alright, so now we just want to kind of... Oops. Nope, come back here. We want to pick up some speed this way. Yeah. Nope, come back, come back, come back. I regret this. I regret this. Oh, I almost hit it over. So close. Okay, let's try again. It's kind of hard because the controller isn't, like, super calibrated. Alright, that was, that was not bad. Like, when I do the controller flat, the, the, the stage is not flat. You know what I'm saying? I'm holding it at an awkward angle. There we go. Now I'm actually going to put this... Like that. Actually, no, not like that at all. Not like that at all. How about... How about... How about like that? All right, we beat the shrine, but I want this. Woo! I want the treasure. I think it's only like an opal, but still. I remember the first time doing this shrine, I was like, how do you get that chest? So clever, I love that Nintendo. Oh, this one's actually very useful. All right, good, I'm glad I had a slot. It's useful because it, it's like a sniper bow. You can snipe really far with that. The arrow shoots perfectly straight too. Alright, easy, easy, easy. I love easy shrines because, you know, free spirit orb basically, and I need more spirit orbs. How many do I got even? I don't even know. We're going to find out here in a second. Three. Ugh. Oh. I just need one more spirit orb, guys, and then I actually will be able to get... Our sixth heart piece. It's gonna take a while, but we'll do it. All right, so we're at Hateno Village. Uh, I think we need to go all the way up to the top and talk to the person up there. And I already know that they want me to light all the torches with the blue flame. So I might just do that like before I even go up there because you can't upgrade your Sheikah Slate until you do that. So the first thing we need to do is actually go get the blue flame. I don't even know if I have enough time to do this. We got, what, like 10 minutes left in this episode? Well, we, we, might, we might have enough time. Let's see. Where is the blue flame? I think it's like over there. 
And then it would also be helpful if I had like a tree branch. So let's see if I can get one. Any tree branches? Nope. Might as well take the wood though while we're here. Chop a couple more trees, see what we get. I love the one hit. There's a tree branch. Alright, I'm just gonna chuck this arm over there. Take the wood. Alright. We will uh, do all the quests and whatnot in the villages in due time, so don't don't think that I'm just ignoring all the quests. Because I know there's quests here and in uh, Kakarko Village. But right now, I'm just focused on like getting all the waypoints so I can teleport around easier. Uh, where is the blue fire? I thought it was... Ah, here it is, up here. Some apples. All these little uh, torches everywhere we need to light, so... I don't know if the tree branch will actually burn out from this blue flame, so... I guess we'll find out. Oh, oh man, can I, uh... Can I get across this? Oh, barely. Unfortunately, I don't think you get anything for lighting all the torches in the town, other than the fact that it just looks cool. So, I I, I was very disappointed when I discovered that, though. Because, like, literally everyone is like, oh, for sure. I'm going to get something for lighting all of these torches, right? Why else would they put all these other torches all over town, right? Nah, I don't think you do get anything. I'm so paranoid that the stick is going to burn out. Oh, yeah. See, if you don't know that you have to do this, you're going to walk all the way up to the tower up there. And then she's going to send you right back down to uh, light all these torches. So it's like pretty nice if you know that you have to do it ahead of time. I love the blue little sparkles coming off of the torch. They look so cool. I always thought this was, this was a really cool part of the game. Is there a torch up here? I'm just looking. I think there are our torches. Yeah, there's one right there. I'm just gonna go grab these torches because we have time. And then there's another one over here. It looks really cool when you light all the torches because you can literally see them from miles away. Like when you're way far away on Dueling Peaks Tower or whatever, you can see all these blue torches lit. Like I said, I just wish they actually gave you something. Oh, it did break! My goodness! Well then, we learned something. You can light, like, what, three, four torches before it breaks, though. Sorry, uh, I know you guys like like the trees for the shade, but I need another tree branch. Alright, well, you know what I could use instead of this tree branch is maybe the spear. I just want to light this one over here. No? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you can get creative and use almost anything that'll burn. I like how the, the sheep are resting underneath the tree, even though it's not sunny out. Alright, maybe this one will have a tree branch. I don't really care if I have to use the Boko Spear. Oh, wow, we glitched it. Hey, little sheepies. How you doing? That's actually a, a prime meat suspect right there, but seeing as it's guarded by this dog, I'm not going to take the prime meat. Still no uh, tree branches. Got a couple apples, though. How about this guy? Will this guy give me a tree branch? If you uh, do walk all the way to the top, there is... There's a torch in the building up there, but 
Man, we should be able to use a tree branch. Wow, nothing, nothing dropping a tree branch here. Alright, guess I'm gonna use the uh, Boko Spear. Hopefully this doesn't burn out very quickly. Going up. Oh, look at the beautiful sunrise, guys. The sun is rising on Hyrule. The birds are singing. It's good to be alive. Oh man, this is a long one. I don't know if I can make it all the way up here. Come on, Lake, go. Go. If I start running, he puts away the fire, so I gotta be careful. Oh man, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Yes. Right, let's see if I can get a tree branch. Still no tree branch. We're getting a lot of apples and wood, I guess, but... Come on, boy. One more. We can make it, Lake. This is the last leg of the journey. I actually don't know if I've done it this way before, where you light it before you even talk to them. I want to see what they say. Got it. Now I can warp here, too. Man, I love this double axe for the one hit. One hit chop. Alright. Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. If the flame is blue, the furnace is hot. Do not touch. Flame is blue. See a torch right here? Would have came in handy, right? Linky? Is it really you? Snappity snap. No, no, no. Now is not the time for this. The guidance zone is suddenly working again. Now Linky has arrived. Hmm. Say, Linky, do you know by any chance... <laughs> do you by any chance happen to light the furnace with a blue flame? That's true. If you figured out how to do that without being told, you must have come out of the slumber of restoration in good shape. Uh, yeah, I did because I already beat the game twice. Oh, yes, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab's distinguished director, Pira... Snappity snap. Ah, yes. It seems I spilled the beans all by myself about my role as the true director of this place. My apologies, Linky. It seems you have yet to fully grasp the specifics of the situation at hand. I'll just speak bluntly, how about? You were instructed by Impa to come here to have the Sheikah Slate repaired, correct? Precisely. How did you know that? Called it. And we'll get to that, but first I have some questions. I, I don't really like how she keeps calling me Linky. Anyway... Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time? Uh, you don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but some, neither neither of you other than your little child now. But something must have happened all that time. Well, no matter, I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky, what's with that look? You do still remember re me, right? I don't remember. Really? Well, I'm so shocked, I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though 100 years ago, I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you. She took me there? Even though I was the one who put you safely into the slumber of restoration. Despite all that, you still don't remember me. As expected, after 100 years, subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Uh, if you say so. Aren't you a child? How very rude! Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. Truth is, I looked this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But, the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Anywho, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Well then, let's go ahead and restore the Sheikah Slate! Give me a nice snap, go on! Okay. We gotta take a picture of her. Oh, we get the camera first. Then we gotta take a picture of her. Camera, Hyrule Compendium, and album missing files confirmed. Starting repair. We're gonna get a few more things added to our Sheikah Slate, and if we have the materials, we can upgrade some of our existing power-ups, like the bombs, 
stasis, stuff like that. Yay, now I got the camera. And now we have the memories. We can try to find the memories of Zelda. These are actually really cool to hunt down. Plus we got Hyrule Compendium, which is basically try to take a picture of every single thing in the game, which we're not gonna do. I don't I don't really know anybody who's done that. If you've taken a picture of everything in the game and completed the Hyrule Compendium, please let me know in the comments, but don't lie about it. Because I've never heard anybody <laughs> doing that. And it's done! So, is it all fixed up now? Let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Compendium, album. Yep, looks good! So, I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Alright, fine. We can also, guys, do self-portraits. We can make poses and whatnot. But we're not going to do self-portrait. Here's your picture. <laughs> I actually uh, skipped what she said on accident. I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. I wasn't, it wasn't on purpose. Mm. Aw, it's not just a pretty girl in these images, yes. There are also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Licky, it, it dawns on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight. Which means there's a strong possibility that if you accompanied her to all of these places where the pictures were taken, that you did. All right. The lost memory thing could prove troublesome, but do don't lose hope. It just means these pictures could be the missing piece to help restore your lost memory. If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda even than I do. Ah, she wants me to bring back the ancient materials. Yeah, let's see if I can actually... Linky! Linky! Three ancient screws, three ancient shafts, three ancient cores. Let's see if I got anything. Uh, I think the remote bomb power-up is probably useful. Oh, I can do it, guys. Upgrading the bombs! Let's go! I didn't actually know if I had enough stuff right away, but... Looting all those dead guardians paid off, right? We found so many uh, battlefields with dead guardians. That's why it's important to loot them. Plus, we killed a few stationary guard guardians. Th those give you a lot of drops. I don't think I have three cores, though. The cores, I need to upgrade stasis, but... Then we can actually stasis enemies as well as objects. Remote bomb plus! Now they do even more damage! And they recharge faster. Which is super useful. And they blast even bigger, I think. <laughs> yes. Let's see if we can upgrade anything else. Sheikah sensor? I should have the screws, no problem. Now I can use the Sheikah sensor to pretty much track anything I want. Including uh, treasure chests. Which becomes very useful sometimes. Or like a specific item, or a specific enemy. I can track whatever I want now. We are finally getting to the point in the game like where we have all the upgrades. It feels good, man. Like, this is where the game really starts. Awesome. Now we can search for things other than shrines. Yep. I, I'm pretty sure I don't have three cores. Cores are harder to find. All right, Pira. I've talked to you long enough. <gasps> oh, the Sheikah Sensor Plus. I really want to see it. Yeah, we'll go talk to him in a second. Uh, but actually, no, guys. We're going to end the episode here. We're just chilling in Pira's laboratory right now. I'm going to go up here, actually. I don't think I've ever climbed up here. Wait, it goes to nowhere. A ladder leading nowhere. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was kind of quirky. If you did, please go ahead and drop a like. It really helps me out. And, uh, wait. I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>
Oh, man.